reference required for this project are a 12 0 12 transform. It is a center tape, but you can use a normal one. A 1 microfarad capacitor, 1 diode of 1N3s, three's, a 4.7K resistor, 1 10K resistor, 1 Zener diode of 5V. This is the circuit we are going to build on breadboard. First, the transformer is directly connected to the main supply. Then, uh, as you can see, a 10 kilo ohm resistor is directly connected to positive uh, of the transformer, and 4.7k resistor is connected in series with 10k1. Then, uh, diode is directly uh, connected from uh, between to a capacitor of 1 microfarad. Across the capacitor, Zener diode is connected, and N terminal of the Zener diode is directly connected to the analog pin A0 of Arduino. Whereas its uh, P terminal is directly connected to the ground. Now this is the circuit I made. As you can see, a transform is connected to the extension cord. Uh, I've also used a multimeter to show you the exact reading, uh, which matches on serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. This is the breadboard connection of the circuit after the transform is connected to mains. We get step down voltage here. This uh, wire goes to analog pin A0 of Arduino, and this wire goes to ground pin of Arduino. You can see these two resistors are connected in series so that uh, it can be used as a voltage divider circuit. Reason of uh, this circuit being here is that we get voltage between 0 to 5 across 4.7k resistor, and that's because Arduino cannot take more than 5 voltage. The diode is used here to rectify the, the step down AC wave. Capacitor is used to smooth out the voltages we get after the diode. Whereas Zener diode is used to protect the microcontroller in case voltage exceeds 5 volt. Now this here is a very simple program you have to burn to your Arduino. You can see in the wide loop I have multiplied the variable x to a constant. Now to know why I have done this, you can read my article published on Circuit Digest. I am giving the link of that article in the description below. You can check out. I have uh, explained everything about this program and in detail about the circuit also. Here the transformer is connected as well as I have connected the multimeter to show you the voltage uh, which we are getting. After the transformer, this is the circuit here on breadboard. Uh, which I have already explained. You can see all the components in the breadboard. Now the two wires are going on Arduino which I have already explained. One to the analog pin A0 and another to the ground. Uh, this is the Arduino. Arduino is directly connected to my laptop. You can see here. And uh, right now I am getting reading 0 on the screen of the laptop. So I will just turn the power on. Let's see what happens. Okay, done. Now let's see uh, what voltage we are getting on the multimeter. You can see it's 236.9 volts. Now let's check out our serial monitor. We are getting approximately 234 volts, which is not bad. Yeah, it's uh, it's approximately 234 volts. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. And if you have any queries or suggestions regarding this project, then please leave a comment in the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.